Hello and welcome. This is Dr. Edward Rubin, board certified anesthesiologist, pain specialist. Uh, today on this video, we're going to be talking about HFX, uh, which is a new technology for spinal cord stimulation that came out uh, about a year ago with some new indications. And I'm going to take you through the technology and through the uh, process. So HFX is basically an electrode implanted in the spine. And what happens with these electrodes is they create an electrical current. And that electrical current actually blocks painful signals um, from going up and down the spine. So if you can knock out the signals going to the spine, then you can improve people's pain. This is clearly an FDA approved device. This has been through rigorous testing and studies. This technology has been around for quite a while. What HFX is doing differently is a couple things. Um, it's getting a couple new indications, which we didn't have before. So previously, the leg pain patients who had failed surgery for their back were the only people that were candidates for spinal cord stimulation with the exception being uh, complex regional pain syndrome, but that was pretty much it. You either had to have failed a back surgery or had complex regional pain syndrome, or you weren't a candidate for this technology. Now, <clears throat> with new data that's been put out and approved by the FDA, you can get this technology for patients with just chronic low back pain, and the big new one is diabetic neuropathy. <clears throat> so, um, what is the process here? Um, you don't have to necessarily have had surgery anymore. You could just have tried conservative treatment and medication. Success rate with this is very high. About 8 out of 10 patients do well with the stimulator. It starts out with a trial, so you can just try it out and see if you like it. So what would happen is in an operating room, sterile technique with anesthesia, this is a same day procedure to do the trial. We would insert temporary electrodes in the back with an external battery. And through those little insulated wires you see there, initially for the trial you would have an external battery. Um, and then if you decide to proceed to the permanent one, you would get an implantable battery. Um, the whole point here is this is a very quick outpatient procedure. Typically, we can put in the trial in 30 to 45 minutes. Um, you do get sedation for it. It is a same-day procedure, meaning you would go home about an hour later. There is some programming that's involved. The key point here that people need to understand, especially if they've been talking to people that had stimulators in the past and for whatever reason didn't like it, um, for this new technology, it functions at a very high frequency. So 10,000 kilohertz is the, the frequency. That means every second, this device is generating 10,000 electrical signals to basically scramble the, the feeling in the spine. Um, you still feel your legs normally. You can still walk normally. It basically is just blocking the pain pathways. And again, you're trying this out before you go to something permanent. So during the trial, there would be electrodes taped to the back. Um, you try it out at home. You see if you like it. You can do your normal daily activities. You can drive. Um, very profound improvement in sleep with these devices. Um, so we've seen some, some very good outcomes in people getting back to their regular normal existence. Um, the only people that could not have this done, if you're on a blood thinner and for some reason uh, you couldn't stop it, that would preclude you as far as risks of a technique like this. Anytime you place a needle, small risk of bleeding, small risk of infection, chance of nerve injury is pretty remote. Um, but these new indications are really the biggest thing that you need to take home from this. People that normally had not been candidates are now candidates to try this technology out. So if you have sciatica, if you have low back pain, um, if you have peripheral diabetic neuropathy, 
um, then feel free to reach out to a pain specialist like myself um, and see if they have this technology in their bag of tricks. I appreciate your time in uh, watching this quick video. Uh, if you have any questions, please feel free to put them in the comments. Please don't put any personal protected medical information in the comments as that's not uh, HIPAA compliant. Um, you can feel free to email me on the address there. I hope you liked the video. Please hit the like button and subscribe. If you have other videos you'd like to hear, please let me know and I'd be happy to um, make a video for you. Thanks for your time.